I think it's phage. It is phage, right? Yes. It's phage this time. Yes. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe you can enlighten us a little bit because we haven't seen you here in so long. We've been dealing with that other guy, the warden, this whole time. But yet all of a sudden, several weeks ago, we hear the mysterious voice over the loudspeakers. We, we see the mask in the box. And now here you are. What is going on here, man? You see, in ancient times, people put more power into an artifact than they would a human being. As most people, even this day and age, you know, you, so many people put more into, say, the Holy Bible if you're Christian. What I show is more than what I'm covering, if that can make any sense at all. You see, Warden came at a time when I couldn't do it. When I couldn't do it, and he ran rampant over everybody. But I couldn't sit on the sidelines anymore and continue to let that happen. And as time and time went by, I decided it's time for me to come back and reclaim that position myself. You see, him and I have been doing war for the last 10 years. People don't realize that. This goes deeper than just UWC. This goes further than most people actually realize. When you have two blizzards slamming into each other like a tsunami, War is inevitable. But you see, I'm still here. It doesn't matter if he wants to show his face or if he wants to show up or whatever he wants to do, I'm still here and I'm not backing down. Tonight, I still gotta take on Mark Vandy because I'm still in the Horizon Cup tournament and I'm still gonna go to win it, whether the warden likes it or not. So if he wants to show his face, if he wants to be a part of it, that's up to him. But I know he's not gonna take me down. I'm here and I'm here to stay. Welcome back to another fantastic edition of UWC Online here from the Battle Zone in Georgetown, Illinois. John Stone joined by Joey O'Reilly up here in the booth. And we are starting off with Horizon Cup quarterfinal action. Mark Vandy taking on Phage, the winner to advance to Ascension of Greatness in the semifinals. Now I gotta tell you, Joey, I, I first off the bat, right off the bat, I gotta ask you, we heard you wanted a title shot against Blake Reed. You came out here, you got in the man's face. You said you won a one-on-one -on -one contest with Blake Reed for the heavyweight championship. Does that still hold up today? Oh, I, you know, absolutely. I stood and got in his face like a man, you know, hoping he'd accept my challenge, you know. He told me flat out that he would wrestle anybody on the roster for the title except me. Are you hoping that it's something is going to cause you to have that title opportunity? Ascension of Greatness is just a, a few weeks away. You know, absolutely, John Stone. I know that Blake Reed is scared because I've pinned him before. And I've had him beat once once before. So I, I, uh -oh. I know what's running through his mind. Look at this. Mark Vandy with the side headlock now has Phage. I guess he's Phage right now. Over the last several weeks, I haven't been able to tell. I'm always confused. They, they look alike to me. I mean, They both wear a mask. I mean. At one minute, we're looking at Phage. The next minute, all of a sudden, the Warden is back out here. I just don't understand exactly what's going on. Crucifix pin attempt. Well, they get the two count. Nice side headlock of his own by Phage. Oh, pulling on the hair. You gotta watch out for that. One of these two men will advance to Ascension to Greatness and will be joining your tag team partner, Tornado Jones, and Bo Sawyer as one of the semifinalists in the Horizon Cup Tournament. Congratulations to Tornado Jones on that. I took him under my wing and mentored him well. Hopefully he can bring home the trophy the same night I bring home the belt. Well, he's been doing pretty good so far. Victory over Cecil Cerveza recently that it propelled him into the semifinals. And let's not forget, Cecil Cerveza is a former UWC champion. Oh, exactly. That's It's a big deal. It's been a great great year for Tornado Jones, but he is not competing in this first match right now. We got Fage and Vandy. Very nice move there on the part of Fage. Fage is going to have to watch Vandy. Vandy is a very sneaky wrestler. And showcasing that right there with that elf, that shoulder to the midsection. The bounce off the ropes now. Double shoulder block, but neither man goes down. 
Oh, it looks like he's asking Vandy. He's saying, hit me harder. Sidestep him out of the way. Arm drag takeover. Been seeing a lot of mat based offenses here in the beginning of this contest, going for some submission style victories. And once again, Vandy goes back to the pull of the hair. You know, Joey, I don't know. This Horizon Cup tournament, this is the third year that we have been doing this tournament. You know exactly what it means to be Horizon Cup tournament champion. I think you've competed in the tournament before, haven't you? Yes. I mean, you weren't able to win. The only two winners we've had in the company's history so far, oddly enough, was Travis Weir in the first year and Blake Reed the second year. It seems like if you win the Horizon Cup championship, you go on to greater things. Blake Reed came on to became the UWC heavyweight champion. Oh! Stomp it away on the hand of Phage. As I said, I hope it's Phage right now and we're not, we don't have a MacGuffin in front of us. Mark Vandy with the headbutt. Wait a second, going for a single leg takedown. Oh, and just wrapping around, spinning toe hold. Shades of the world famous Funk family. Haven't seen that move in years. Of course, Joey, we, I'd feel remiss if I didn't think back to the last time I saw you and Mark Vandy in the ring together, which was, well, when you were on my team. That's right. You were able to beat him and help Team John Stone gain victory back at Natural Selection a few months ago. I told you I would. I always tend to keep my promises. And I appreciate that every single day. I will always appreciate that. Falling headbutt now to the shoulder. You know, I've been in the ring with Vandy before, and he will use whatever he can to win the match. He is not a clean fighter, that is for sure. Well, you could look at his beard and attest to that. He does have a fantastic beard. Fans here at the Battle Zone cheering on Phage. They want to see Phage advance to the semifinals. Nice. Enzigiri kicks the back. I think it caught Vandy in his beard. That beard has a mind of its own. Charging into the corner. Step up in Zagiri right to the face. Fage building some offense here, gaining some momentum, going up to that top rope. Oh! Double knees right to the neck. He could have it. Only a two count. You know, you like to take to the air for an aerial offense, but I never thought a man the size of Phage would do it. You know, bigger men have been known to take to the air. Looking for a full Nelson, but Vandy trying to counter out of it with a pull of the hair again. Rolls him over into a pin, but he's holding the tight. He's held it. Again, anything he can use to win, he will do. Fage can't believe it. He's still stunned sitting in the ring right now. Mark Vandy joins Tornado Jones and Bo Sawyer at Ascension to Greatness, three of the four semifinalists who are going to compete. So we're going to assume this is Fage. I hope this is Fage. I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect anymore. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online. A truly interactive experience. All right, you are back here at the Battle Zone. It's been a few weeks since we've seen you, but you are here tonight for in-ring competition. Now, the last time you've been 
competing in that ring, you know, you've had two matches on the active roster, and they haven't gone the way you really expected them to. First time you pulled out the card of the champion, Blake Reed, mm -hmm. yep, yep. he basically put you away. Yeah. Then you had an opportunity at the Horizon Cup tournament, but you had to get through Bo Sawyer, and we know how that worked out. Not quite as planned, that's for sure. Oh no, but here tonight, there's a difference in those last encounters. You actually know your opponent tonight is Cecil Cerveza. Now, does that change the landscape for you? Does that make you even more ready? Absolutely, John Stone. I mean, past two times, I've just been so excited to get in the ring that I paid no attention to who my opponent was. Bo Sawyer was a complete surprise. I didn't even know I was in the tournament. Here with Cecil Cerveza, I've had time to prepare, I've been able to hit the gym, been able to train and really focus on my competitor for this evening's matchup. Uh, so, this night's going to be different. I promise you that. I promise you. Alright. Best of luck to you. Alright, this again. Um, let's go ahead and cut it. I think we're done. This matchup is an interesting one right here. We got Sean Reif back in action here at UWC Online. Been a few weeks since we've seen him, but he's taken on Cecil Cerveza this time around. And of course, if you look at Sean Reif's record, is it really the best? I mean, the first time we saw him, he was taken to school by the champ Blake Reed. The next time we saw him, Bo Sawyer got over on him. So, you know, I've never seen this guy wrestle. I've always seen him as an official, but I love the enthusiasm that he has in the room. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of wrestlers have that enthusiasm. And of course, you're in the ring with former champion, as you said earlier, Cecil Cerveza. Cecil still steaming over losing his opportunity at the Horizon Cup Tournament to Tornado Jones. Waist lock applied now by Sean Reif. Oh! Oh, but right to the kisser. I have to give it to Sean, though. I mean, he looks ready. He looks ready to compete. Well, Sean Rife, like we said, we've known him mainly as an official, as a referee here in UWC. But you cannot deny that over the years, he's taken some brutal shots at different points. I mean, one can think back to a couple years ago, the shot with a kendo stick by Jimmy Carrot straight to the head. And then, of course, just a few months ago, there was the straight punch to the face by Bo Sawyer that put him out of action for several weeks. Ooh. Working over the midsection, Darren drifted the referee trying to get him out of the corner. Now look at the blatant choke. Cecil Cerveza has to break it by five. I think Cecil's taking this Ooh. fight very lightly. Pie faces him. Oh! You saw the way that Cecil was just laughing when this match began. He was laughing as Sean Reif made his introduction. You know, I don't, I don't care who you are. You should never underestimate any opponent in that room. Because it only takes three seconds. Uh-oh, wait a second. Double leg takedown. Now he's going to town. back once again. See what I mean? Never underestimate your opponent. Cecil getting a little more of a fight than he expected here out of Sean Wright. You got to think back to all the times as a referee that Sean Wright had to stand there and take the abuse. Sometimes physical, but mostly verbal from Cecil Cerveza. This is his opportunity right now to give him 1-4. No surprise, Cecil Cerveza does have the height advantage as well as the experience advantage. Of course, Cecil's out here alone. You gotta wonder where Bradley Dupree is. Bradley Dupree has been standing in the corner recently of Cecil. You think he's serious? Looks like he's getting a little frustrated.
Let me ask you this question, Joey. If you were the one competing in this match against Cecil instead of Sean Reif, would this match have been over by now? Oh, yeah. The match would have ended as soon as it started. Oh! Do you think you'd ever be willing at some point in the future to Sean Reif? Possibly take him under your wing, show him the ropes, kind of like you did with Tornado Jones? I'm willing to give anybody the shot. I'll take anybody under my wing, as long as they listen to me. Oh! He's got him back in the corner. Oh, another chop to the chest. Answering back, and that one's gotta hurt. Nightmare. Every single time Sean Rice seems to gain some momentum, Cecil just cuts him off. Cecil likes his ground game. That's why I said it went over before it started. I like to rush, fast pace. I don't like being tied down. Well, we've seen that plenty of times in your matches. Like I said, you love that aerial offense, hitting that 450 splash. Elbows to the midsection right now and clubs him to the back. The fans here at the Battle Zone cannot stand Cecil to face up. but he's got it locked in. Looks like Sean Rife's been doing his homework. Looking to cut the blood flow off to the brain on Cecil, but Cecil countering out of it. Shots to the boiler and a knee to the face. Sean Rife has got more offense in this match than he has in his last two outings combined. Cecil to the floor. He's prepared, he's ready. He knows what he needs to do now. Belly to belly suplex! He really has been studying. He has. Fans here cheer for Sean. He's only at one knee. Cecil, the first one back up to his feet. There he goes. Oh, sidesteps him and rolling forearm. for a German suplex. Sean Wright using his weight to his advantage gets out of that one. Reverses the Irish whip attempt, ducks underneath it. Oh! Wow! Rife with a German of his own! But it is amazing the way these fans at the Battle Zone have taken Deshaun Reif as an active competitor. An attempt here, going for it. Only a two count. To tell you the truth, I said that he's got more offense in this match than his last two outings combined. I think this match has gone longer than his last two outings combined. Oh, running headbutt. I've never seen that before. Well, Cecil Cervais is no Blake Reed or Bo Sawyer. Those two are ginormous men. But he is a former champion. Oh! Taking one out of your playbook. He sure did. But it's still not enough to put him away. John Stone, I've put many competitors away with that super kick. Look at Cecil now. He's like a like a snake in the corner. He's just measuring him, ready to pounce all over his prey. Launches himself in with that forearm. Goes to the bulldog out of the corner. Sean Rick counters out, ducks the lariat. Looking to hit, roll the dice. That's his move, roll the dice, and this one is over.
Cecil Cerveza achieving victory here tonight, but you gotta give it up to Sean Reif. What a performance. Alexander S. Kirk, last week you were victorious in your matchup against Phage. Congratulations for that, by the way. But uh, they told me that you requested this time specifically because you have something to say. So, uh, I did. I have a lot to say because I'm successful in 100% of my last match. I feel like this is time for me to shine into a championship match. I'm really Jones in for a title shot. And, you know, my record is as pure as I am right now, which brings me to you, Sam Knight. Now you had an impressive title reign, but it's time for me to hold two belts, my championship belt and my chastity belt. Can't forget that, you can't forget the chastity belt. on Sam Knight's face, you see the joy that he has competing in this ring. That's one of the best things, most admirable things about Sam Knight. He just loves to go out there, not only be the best in co competition-wise, but he loves having fun. Alexander S. Kirk is looking to end that fun here tonight. He wants to add the online title to his amazing repertoire of achievements. Of course, based on the facts, the uh, whoa! A little bit of dancing going on there. Dancing with the UWC stars. I don't think that was the right type of dance. Oh! Playing too many games, but you got the power and offense of Sam Knight. There's a little more dancing. Explode out of the corner and run for Sam Knight. Whoa! Hello, ladies, I guess. Shades of Val Venus there. A little bit of Rip Flair, Jeff Jarrett tossed in as well. I guess if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it with the flair. Alexander S. Kirk on the outside now. I guess he's needing a little bit of a breather. What did he think this match was gonna be easy? Oh, he was going to try and jump. Sam from behind runs right in. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. Comes in, sidesteps him, eats the buckle. Kick to the midsection. Gut wrench. Into a gut buster. You don't see that much anymore either. Oh, very, very nice move. Knee drop. I'm not, like I said, I'm not too familiar with Kurt, but it looks like he's a little bit old school. I'll say this, Joey. I mean, like I said at the start of this episode, I know that you issued the challenge for Blake Reed in the online or Blake Reed in the heavyweight title, but let's say that you're not able to achieve that match. Would you be willing to step in the ring with someone like a Sam Knight or an Alexander S. Kirk and try and gain the online title? Absolutely. I, I come here every week to perform to fulfill a civic duty, and I plan on doing that at Ascension of Greatness, one way or another. Wait a minute, could have a new champion here. Alexander S. Kirk says he wants to add this championship belt to his chastity belt? I thought women only had chastity belts. You know, in today's society, in this emerging world, it's hard to tell anymore. He's wrapped around the midsection of Sam Knight. It's like he's riding him like a dog. A dog or a, or a slightly bigger baby elephant. Yes. Going back to it once again. Look at the torque. Gets to the bottom rope, though. Kirk has to break it up. Oh, knees to the small of the back. Oh, 
Sam trying to fight back up to his feet, but all the weight coming down along the back. What is it that Sam Knight has to do right now to regain the advantage? Sam Knight's playing it smart. He's waiting for Alexander S. Kirk to make a mistake, and then he's going to capitalize on that mistake. It's the ropes. Oh, my goodness. Just tumbles back in the ring. Could have a new champion. Just a two count. Sam Knight trying to get back into it. Alexander S. Kirk can't believe what he's seeing. Sam Knight, he's not been able to put him away just yet. Knees to the midsection. Front face lock could be going for a suplex. Oh, very nice, powerful, offensive move by Kirk. What? Doing a little bit of the, the hip thrust, I guess. Running splash off the corner into a pin. Only a two count. Didn't look like he got enough height on that one. I don't think so either. From a man who goes off the top ropes a lot, you gotta have a lot of height so you can have that impact when you're gonna do something like that. Oh, the momentum that you gather as you're coming down. Sam Knight proving here he's a fighting champion. Ducks underneath the Larry to tempt hits the ropes. Yeah! Huge spear and a desperation attempt. Sam Knight will pick his moments. You gotta believe if Sam would have got the pin right there, this match would have been over. All he needed was a little separation from him to regain himself. Kirk struggling to get back up to his feet. He's the first one. Sam Knight close to follow. Comes in with a lariat. And Sam has one of his own. Irish whip into the corner. Charges in. Huge clothesline. Just comes stumbling out. Very nice. Only gets a two count out of it. Version of a sky high there. It seemed to be, yes. Wait a minute, Sam setting up for something. The right hand of God is ready to strike, but wait, rolls out from underneath him into a pin. He didn't get all of that pin, Johnstone. Oh no, he didn't get all the leverage that he needed to. If he would have, we could have had a new champion. For a man Sam Knight size, you're gonna put a lot of weight into a pin to hold him down. Oh, you hear him, he said, I got him rocking. Screaming for a rolling elbow to the face. Wait a minute, counters out of it. There's his move. He got it.